Good morning, Lancaster Catholic. I'm Anthony Prisco. Today, instead of your regular morning show, we have a special video for you. It's a look behind the scenes into the making of our spring musical. So sit back and enjoy your sneak peek for Joseph and the amazing Tentacolor Dreamcoat. Hello and welcome to the production of Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat. I'm Miss Wagner and I'm the director for the production. Joseph is an excellent production for our school this year is because of the message of forgiveness and it follows almost, you know, pretty exactly the story of Genesis and Joseph and the Coat of Many Colors. It's been done here a few times before and it hasn't been done here in 25 years, so it's a, a great opportunity for us to bring it back to the stage this year when we have so many guys in our program to create the characters of the brothers. I'm the costume diva, and my name is Patty Pizzaruso. I've been doing costuming for over 40 years, so I've been behind the stage and in front of the stage, so I'm very much at ease with show works and how a show gets produced. What I love about doing this job is that every show is different, whether it's a musical or if it's a drama. Even if it's the same show, the director's vision is what I try and put on the stage with a little bit of my own personality added in. I love the kids. I love working with high schools because the kids are absolutely fantastic. I see a lot of talent in here. I thrive on that stuff. And I love seeing the finished product because these kids are just so talented. Hi, I'm Mr. List. I'm the orchestra director for the musical Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat. This is my ninth musical uh, conducting at Lancaster Catholic High School. I actually performed three when I was in high school here many years ago. This year is great because it's a rock opera. It's not a regular musical. We get to kind of rock out more in the orchestra. It's professional level music. It's the same music that you will listen to if you go to see this in a Broadway production and they learned it in a few weeks. They're amazing students. I know you're going to enjoy the show and hope to see you there. Hi, I'm Miss Sierra and I am the stage crew director for Joseph and the Technicolor Dreamcoat. I get blueprints from the designer. He comes into the stage and tapes everything out to where he wants to put it, even to the length. I have an amazing team. We started on February 4th. We need to end on March 1st, and by the looks of it, it looks like we're doing pretty good. Come out and support the show. Hi, I'm Miss Savolsky, and I'm the supervisor for the Children's Choir for Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat, and I'm here to tell you all about the Children's Choir. Hi, it's been a wonderful honor to be with the Children's Choir and to get to know them um, and to help them out in every way possible. We've been working a lot on our dance moves, on uh, our where we sit on the stage, what we're doing, and they're they're just such a fun little gang. Uh, they bring such great energy to the cast and uh, just make everybody a little more happier, you know. And the last thing I'd like to talk about is that I feel that students do naturally get nervous when performing in front of other people. It's putting yourself out there on stage is very vulnerable. Um, you're opening yourself up to judgment and criticism and one of the best ways to prepare for that natural nervousness and jitters that one gets be before performing is to be prepared. So having enough rehearsal time where you're confident about the, the songs and the dances and understand your character that when things happen on stage, because it is live theater, so if you're missing a prop, if somebody misses a line, um, if a doorknob falls off a door, they can improv and handle anything. And that goes, that just comes through being confident and having that enough rehearsal time. Other techniques we use are things like deep breathing, shake, shaking it out, getting your body warmed up, and positive affirmations so you feel strong about going out on stage.